Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to be using the C4 permanent trim restorer to restore all the black trims that faded on the wife's sport car. As you can see on the scuttle panel here, the trim's gone quite grey with the sun damage, chemicals from when cleaning the car and just polish I think. They all tend to do it. I'll just walk round to the other side of the car now and show you the, show you the door handle as well. You can see here that's gone really really grey. The wiper arms have as well. The wing mirror black bits seem to have stayed okay and as I showed you the other week we've replaced the badge and the handle on the back. The rear wiper seems okay as well so I've just got the handles and the scuttle panel to do which I'm going to crack on with today. I'm using a cheap degreaser I got from Home Bargains and I'm just going to spray all the handle off and give it a good clean now with a soft bristle detailing brush. I'm now going to move on and do the scuttle panel as well. Once I've done that, I'm going to give them a rinse off with water and then start drying them with a microfiber cloth. The C4 trim restorer comes in a 15 milliliter bottle. I think it was £22. I'm going to put the link down in the description so you can buy it off eBay where we bought it from. Um, it came in a few days and it also comes with a pack of cotton makeup pads and it says you apply it sparingly to one trim at a time and then you leave it for about 10 or 15 minutes and then buff it off with a microfiber cloth. I'm going to start with this door handle, as you can see it's quite faded, I'm going to put a dab on the pad and start working it in. Now it says you just leave that for a while and then buff it off. As you can see here, it stayed a little bit dark though, but I think that's where a little splatter of range just hit. But we'll have to see how that comes up when it's done in a minute. That's been on for about five minutes now. I've got a dry microfiber cloth and I'm just going to buff it off. It does look miles better, but I do think that's going to need another coat. As you can see, they're much better after the second coat. I'm glad I masking taped it off because I got a bit on the window and it was a bit of a pain in the ass to get off. But they're not perfect, but it's definitely, definitely brought them up ten times better. It's starting to spit now, so I can't complete the scuttle panel today. But all the other plastics, including these sport catrins that run up the side of the window up, have come up absolutely lovely, so I'd highly recommend this product. Here you can see one of the washer jets. It's a bit hard to see with the light again, but it is really, really grey. And then, as you can see with this one, how black it is once it's been treated. Here again, if I just zoom back out, you can see how grey the scuttle panel is. I've treated half of it here, and it's really, really brought it back up. I think I'm going to leave it on a bit longer than the five minutes it usually says, and really let it set in before I buff it off. But again, it's coming up really, really nice, and what a difference it makes to that grey faded trim. Well, that was... Restoring the trims with a C4 permanent trim restorer. I do recommend this product, although I do think it's quite expensive for the size of the bottle. You get 15 millilitres and I think it was £22. Again, I put a link down in the, the description to it. Uh, click that and get it bought if you want to have a go at doing this. I forgot to mention the other week as well that when I bought the car, as you'd seen in the video, the air conditioning wasn't working on the car and I thought it was either going to be the compressor or it was going to need a regas. I've had it in at work, they've regassed, checked for leaks and everything, the air con's now working. It was free of charge, so there's no charge adding on to the total cost of the car either, which is a bonus. The aircon works an absolute treat now, there's no leaks, the compressor kicks in, so we're happy. The car's really coming together now, there's just a few little things that need doing on it. But I hope again you've enjoyed this video, it's just a quick one, just doing a little thing that you can do at the weekend. It only takes about half an hour of your time, but it's definitely worth masking taping up around the areas that you work on. As usual, hit the subscribe button, please hit the like button. 
any comments, leave them down in the comment section below, and I'll always reply as usual as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.